Good morning students. Today we're going to start this 8.1 and we have the first question and I hope that you have watched the last two videos and here the question is 17x plus 4 equal to 55. The part of the equation that lies on the left hand side of this equality sign this is nothing but left hand side and to the right of this equality sign equality sign means this equal to we call it right hand side so don't forget when any term goes from one side to another it has to change its sign plus two minus and from minus two plus okay let's start solution 17x plus 4 equal to 55 here the question says that we have to solve first and verify the answer okay first let us solve in place on the left hand side we have two terms they are 17x and 4 but I want to know the value of x so what happened the term having the x let us keep on the left hand side so I will write this 17x on the left hand side and then equal to here we have here 55 what about this plus 4 I will send this plus 4 to the other side so that it becomes minus 4 I told you before plus 4 will be changed into minus 4 because the sign has to be changed when a term goes from one side to another okay let us see here this is 17x I want to know the value of x so what happened this x will be written here and then 55 minus 4 we have 51 and then this 17 will come down here that means 17 will divide 51 okay let me explain here once again between 17 and x there is multiplication so what happened when this 17 goes to other side this multiplication will be changed into division that's why i divide this 51 by 17 now 17 is dividing 51 don't forget multiplication will be changed into division so similarly division will be changed into multiplication we'll see in the other questions as well implies here x equal to how much 17 1 17 then 17 3 51 now the value of x is 3 but now you are asked to verify so let us see how are we going to verify verify means you have to prove that you have to verify that your answer is correct your answer is correct means the value of x equal to 3 is correct that means it should satisfy the equation okay we'll continue the verification verification all right here so how are we going to verify let us see on the left hand side i find here x that means we have to take this left hand side so i'll write here left hand side so let me write here 17 x plus 4 so on the left hand side let us put the value of x as 3 and how much we get we'll see now you can continue here but as there is no space i'll continue here i put here equal to now 17 into in place of x how much we're going to write now 3 plus 4 17 into 3 how much we get we get 51 then plus four and how much we get we get here 55 so let me write here since x equal to 3 okay when i put x equal to 3 on the left hand side i get the value of left hand side is how much 55 okay let us see on the right side on the right side what we have now we have just 55 so left hand side is 55 and again right hand side is 55 that means left and right are equal when x is 3 that means our answer is verified so let me write here equal to right hand side so hence verified we have question b minus 35 plus x equal to 39 okay solution minus 35 plus x equal to 39 so in the next step what we're going to write we're going to write this x then equal to we have here 39 
when minus 35 goes to the other side it becomes plus 35 and then how much we get now we have here x how much 30 60 70 4 okay now let us verify so verification on which side of the equation you find x i find x on the left hand side therefore let me take here left hand side we have here minus 35 plus x okay so let me replace the value of x as how much 74 you can write here since x equal to 74 minus 35 plus 74 how much we'll get we'll get here 39 okay so let's see on the right side what do we have on the right hand side we have 39 and even on the left hand side when i replace the value of x is 74 i'm getting 39 that means left and right are equal when x is 74 so equal to what right hand side so you can write here hands verified here we have question c x by 2 plus 3 equal 11 by 2 solution x by 2 plus 3 equal to 11 by 2 this x by 2 let me write here and then what is the next term we have here plus 3 this 3 is actually without x only therefore i can send this term to the right hand side directly so equal to 11 by 2 minus 3 then implies here x by 2 equal to what happened we can do here lcm we have to take lcm because they have different denominators if you take the lcm of 2 and this 1 you'll be getting here 2 so that you'll be getting here 11 minus 6 okay let us see here on the left hand side what is the denominator we have denominator 2 okay how are we going to do let us see implies this equal to let me write here 11 minus 6 means we have here 5 by 2 and this x i'll write here so what about this 2 now actually here what happened 2 is dividing x that means when 2 goes to other side 2 has to multiply in the previous questions what happened let me write here example twice x equal to 3 so when you want to find the value of x these two will divide 3 so 3 by 2 now 2 comes down so in this case what happened 2 is in the denominator so when it goes to other side it has to go to the numerator here multiplication becomes division and here what happened division should become multiplication so we have to multiply here by 2 so here we cancel 2 2 so that how much we get we get here x is 5 okay this part you can do in different way i'll show you again I'll write this x by 2 plus 3 equal to 11 by 2. So in the first case, what happened? I send this 3 directly to the other side. But in this case, I will not do that. So how can we do? First, we'll take the LCM of the denominators. Here, the denominator of this 3 is 1. So if you take LCM for 2 and 1, you'll be getting here 2. And then what happened? This is x plus 6 equal to 11 by 2. Okay, even these two, two I can cancel directly. But I will not do that as of now. Let me teach you in the latter part. So x plus 6. x plus 6. Then we have here 11 by 2. Now 2 is dividing this x plus 6. And then what happened? When 2 goes to other side, it has to multiply. So now 2, 2 cancel. Implies x equal to after cancelling these two two what happened we have here 11 okay and then plus 6 goes to other side it becomes minus 6 then how much we get now x is 5 in both the cases we get x equal to 5 each okay so in exam you can do in any one of the ways that is up to you but let us continue the verification i will write here verification verification on which side of the equation you find x 
I find X on the left hand side. So let me take here left hand side. So this is X by 2 plus 3. So what was the value of X? The value of X was 5. So I will write here 5 by 2 plus 3. Let us take LCM here. We'll have here 2, then here 5 plus, you'll get here 6. Then how much we get? I will continue here. Then equal to 11 divided by 2. But on the right hand side, what is there? We have 11 by 2. So left hand side equal to home, what? Right hand side. Hence, verified solution. X by 3 plus X by 2 equal to 10 by 3. Okay, here let us take the LCM. In both the terms, we find here X. So first, let us take the LCM. If you take LCM for 3 and 2, I'm sure you'll be getting 6. So here, 6. Then I'll write here, twice X plus thrice X. What is the LCM we got? The LCM is 6. So this term, X by 3, I'll write here. This term into this LCM. So 3, 1, 3, 3, 2, 6. X into 2, you'll be getting here twice x this twice x i'm writing here but for the next it comes from x by 2 then we have to multiply by the lcm 2 in okay 2 3 6 so x into 3 we have trice x this trice x i'm writing here then equal to 10 divided by 3 okay in the next step twice x plus trice x we have here 5 x divided by 6 then equal to 10 divided by 3 implies x i'll write here then here 10 by 3 okay i'll give you an example here if it is twice x equal to 10 by 3 or you just say 10 in the next step what happened as 2 multiplies this x in the next step 2 will go to the denominator similarly forget about this x this 6 for some time 5 multiplies 6 therefore when 5 goes to other side it has to go to denominator but we have here 6 example if there is no 6 here if there is no 5 here what happened 6 will go to the numerator that means 6 has to multiply so let me repeat 5 will go down and 6 will go up so now it is in the denominator and 6 is in the numerator so let us cancel here 3 1 is 3 3 2 are 6 5 1 is 5 5 2 are 10 okay now we get here x how much 2 into 2 we have here 4 so now verification verification on which side you find x i find x on the left hand side so left hand side equal to x by 3 plus x by 2 okay so what was the value of x that we got before it was 4 so i'll write here 4 in place of x 4 by 3 plus 4 by 2 and you please write here x how much 4 they have different denominators so let us take lcm here You'll be getting how much? 6. So here will be 8. And here will be how much? 12. So this is 20 divided by 6. 2, 3, 6. 2, 10, 20. So you get here 10 by 3. On the right hand side we have 10 by 3. That means left hand side equal to what? Right hand side. So I will write here equal to right hand side. So hence verified.